So in Simon's dad's suit, and looking a bit like a Hasidic Jew, we <laughs> headed for the off-licence. What? what are you wearing? The suit's my dad's. He insisted. The hat's his suit. What a bellend. I'm just an adult man, stocking up on booze. This'll work. Ten pounds each, please. And there's none of you off to do it. You can fuck off. What? Nothing. Like those morons, I knew the key to getting served was confidence. Good day. Sorry? Good day. Ah. Hello. Shut up. Bah. Oh, shit. What? Nothing. It's Carly's mum, innit? Oi! Jay! Please don't you recognise me. He wants to suck your Carly's tits! Unbelievable. <laughs> the key is to let the shpo know who's in control. It's like a Jedi mind trick. I am an adult. You will serve me. Can I help at all? Yes. I am a man who has recently bought a house in the local area, and I'm having a, a housewarming party to which I'll be inviting a lot of the local adults to. Uh, hence the crisps. Yeah. And, uh, I'll also probably need some, um, alcohol as well, um, as well as the crisps, etc. Right, what sort of thing are you looking for? Some beef eater gin. Okay, so, uh, how about two bottles? Excellent. Do you want some wine? Christ, no, we're not made of money. And I'll have some extra strong mints. For those who are drink driving. Right. It comes to £29.50. Anything else? What's on special? I'll give you a bottle of Drambuie for a tenner if you're paying her out of the shop in five seconds. Done. My good man. I shall invite you to the party. <laughs> Mission accomplished. What's in all the bags then? Just something to soak up the alcohol. Crisps? Where's a beer? Have you spent all our money on fancy fucking crisps? You twat. What the fuck's this? Drambuie? And what's Drambuie? It's a sort of whiskey-based liqueur. And what's a liqueur? It's what benders drink. Well, why have we got that then? Because we're heading back to yours and it's your dad's favourite drink. <laughs> well, my dad's not Ben. <laughs> he is a bit, though. He's fucking not. Right, let's look at the evidence. One, your mum left him because he loves cock. <laughs> That's not true. Look, she was in a difficult place. In bed with a bender. Your dad, who is a bender. Two, he wears tight denim shorts to do the gardening. And the only night he goes out all week is Wednesday, and that's to play badminton. <laughs> right, my dad's not bent because he's got hundreds of porn mags at home and it's all straight. All straight? Some lesbian. Well, I think we should go and have a look at it in that case. Well, fine, come on in. This should be good. I bet it's 90% cock. <laughs> they must be round here somewhere. I don't know where they could have gone. Maybe he swapped them for an ABBA box set. No, he probably shoved them up his ass. <laughs> Drink. So what are we going to do today, then? We can do anything we fucking well please. Yeah, but specifically, what are we doing? We could get hold of some birds. Yeah, let's get some girls. Great. Where are all the girls? At school. Well, we'll wait for them to get out, then. So we're not going to do anything till half three? We could have just gone to school, then. We can't fucking do this at school. Drink. Hello, Mrs. Cooper. Sorry to bother you at work. This is Mr. Gilbert, Simon's head of six. You know, your mum is so fit, Will. I reckon she could be a prostitute. Thanks. Have you wanked over Will's mum? No. Not yet. Please don't have a wank over my mum. I can't promise that, I'm afraid. Yes, hello. Is that Mrs. Mackenzie, William's mother? Right, can I just check something with you, please? When we go away with the caravan club, there's this bird and her sister who I've shagged for about two years. Sometimes I get them to strum themselves while I watch. Sorry, did you say you go on holiday in a caravan? With the caravan club. In a caravan, like a jippo. <laughs> if my mum told me we were going caravanning, I'd call Childline. <laughs> it shows how much you know, because it's a sense of freedom that you don't get with other holidays. It's a sense of shitting in a bucket in a cupboard you don't get with other holidays. In England, with your parents. Actually, it's a well-known fact that the caravan club is like a sex club all over Europe, which is why I've lost my cherry and none of you sad acts have. Listen, I could have got laid loads of times. No, you couldn't. Yeah, I could, actually. But I want to lose it with someone I love. Oh, what? Like Carly? Maybe I do love Carly. She's gorgeous. She's smart. She's amazing. Probably worth mentioning to her then, mate, if that's the way you feel. Yeah, why not mention it? Worst that can happen, you get nothing. 
best that can happen, you get stinky fingers. You really are one of the most disgusting humans I've ever met. Oh, look out! Prince Harry's had a few drinks and now he thinks he's hard. I am hard. So all this being scared of teachers and brown-nosing everyone's parents is just an act, is it? I don't brown-nose anyone. You do a bit. Good manners cost nothing. A good shag costs nothing. A good shag with Carly. Hey? Carly's fanny on your face, <laughs> on your face. Carly's fanny on your face. I keep catching myself on it. It's a bloody Oh, hang on, I think someone's in. And you're bedding. <laughs> Carly's fanny <laughs> on your face, on your face, <laughs> on your face. What the hell is going on? Oh, this place smells like a brewery, not a nice one. Jay, there is always trouble when you're around, but, Will, I'm especially surprised at you. I'm so sorry, Steve. Oh, piss off. What? Don't talk to me like that in my own house. Oh, I'm so sorry. My manners. Piss off, please. I've had enough of your lip. Oh, you'd like my lip, wouldn't you? Right round your bell end, if Mr Chippy doesn't get there first. What's he gonna knock up? A closet for you to hide in, you bumder! In hindsight, I might have taken it a bit too far. 